Greetings everyone! This time I have managed to dig out an even more obscure game than last time. Uh, this game is called Telemark Warrior, published by DRO Soft in 1989 and developed by a Spanish developer that's called Silicon Soft. And I think this is a game that's only been released in Spain, because I've never heard of it or found any information about the game being released in the rest of Europe. And there's not really much that is known about this game. Who made it and, uh, and more importantly, why? <laughs> And if the name is anything to go by, this game could potentially be taking place during the Second World War in Norway when that Norwegian commando team destroyed that German factory that was manufacturing heavy water. And if this is the case, the game should really be a stealth game because I don't think the Norwegian commando team released a single shot during their mission. But let me just spoil it already and say no, there's plenty of gunfire going on in this game, so uh, yeah. I suppose I'm going to have to play the game right now, so uh, uh, I can't come up with anything else to stall it, so let's dive in, I suppose. So uh, hold on to your pants. And you got to love the cover up for this game, it really looks hardcore. That guy is, is equipped with a pretty modern weapon, assault rifle of some sort with a scope. That doesn't look at all like a Second World War weapon, right? But hey, maybe this is in a future war in in Norwegian Telemarken and uh, we're supposed to fight someone else? I don't know. And just look at this menu screen. I'm, I'm not sure what we should call it. It looks like something from a Spectrum game from 1983, except the colors are even more awful. <laughs> I mean, what the hell is that background? Is that a jungle? This is absolutely puke-worthy already. And let me just spoil it again by saying it doesn't get much better. So I'm going to hesitantly press J for joystick. Zone 1. Oh, yes. And as you can see, the graphics aren't quite up to the usual Spanish standards. They look a bit, well, pants. Ah, here we are, finally. And for some reason the joystick doesn't work. Well, that's great. Does that mean I don't have to play this? Uh, definitely something wrong here. And I'm not just talking about the game, but... Oh god, yeah, look at this. And of course I couldn't find a manual for this because, yeah, I couldn't even find the Spanish manual. Let me just see if I can rectify this uh, controller issue. Ah, now it's working. That's uh, a shame. And... Yeah, the graphics are just plain awful. This is... And the gameplay is a bit like a Game & Watch. Um, Really? You see those guys at the back? That throw grenades? There's exactly like three frames of them lobbing the grenade. It's impossible to dodge this. And I can move up here. And just, just like two lanes I can switch between. And I can also sit down. And apparently firing at bullets will prevent them from hitting me, so... Oh god, this is so awful. This is just absolute rubbish. And look at the guy with the grenade back there. This is no way you can avoid this. Jeez. Oh, stop lobbing grenades and game over. Yeah, this, this game is... Yeah, it's complete rubbish. Let's go this way. And you see, when you take damage... Everything just disappears on screen, which is a bit peculiar. And everything just kind of freezes up a bit. And when there's many sprites on screen, and I'm using the word many loosely, there's a horrific slowdown, and I think I'm out of ammo. Yes, I'm out of ammo. I also have grenades, and I have really no idea how to uh, use them, because, yeah, I did not find a manual. And I'm trying all the buttons on the keyboard, and it's game over again. Oh god, this is super pants! Looks like they're lobbing those German grenades, although they are a bit of a funky colour, so maybe we should assume that this is indeed uh, in Norway during the Second World War. Just maybe things have played up a little bit differently than it did in the actual uh, heavy water mission. So let's see if we can... Oh, I'm already out of ammo, and I don't know, I, th I suppose I should be able to pick this up, but I really can't. It's just nothing happens here when I try and uh, grab whatever that is. A Bible, maybe? Say my prayers and hopefully never play this game again? Let's go up here. Maybe there's grenades, and I can't pick it up. Ah. Let's see if we can just quickly 
move on here. I mean, this game is just beyond awful. It's so, so bad on all levels. I mean, the graphics are... Oh, it looks like something from 85. And the gameplay is even worse, it, which is astonishing to imagine that that is possible. Oh, look at this. At least I'm getting somewhere, right? Can I dodge this mess? No, I can't. I'm going to have to go in here. Please, get it, go in. No. Of course not. I have a feeling this is going to be a rather short video. Also, I think there's something wrong with the uh, audio. And sometimes I don't even see what's hitting me. It's just like, oh, everything just disappears and I take damage somehow. Can I kill these filthy German grenade lobbers? No, I'm out of weapons or ammo already. I presume I have to pick this up, but how? Why can't I just pick it up by stepping on it? But no, that would be way too simple. Yeah, again, the, the sample sound effects are not supposed to sound like this, I think, but I could not, for the life of me, get them to work in any emulator. It's just a horrific noise, ear-piercing noise that, that happens when when I take damage or when I fire. If I just could pick these damn things up, I would be so happy, but this... Yeah... And the controls are super unresponsive as well, you know? You can't get out of the way when you press the button. I mean... It's so... Bloody awful! <laughs> I can't even... And the grenade guys, I mean, this is like a Game & Watch. I mean, a Game & Watch has got more frames of animation than this game. I mean, really, it does. It also looks way better, and it's even more colourful to an extent. <laughs> if you include the painted background, that is. Oh, look, now they're throwing grenades from inside the buildings here. That's fun! I mean, usually Spanish games look really nice, and at least had some sort of, you know, semblance of gameplay, but this one is just taking a dive into the bottom of the barrel. And I'm not sure why I'm not dead yet, but I'm just going to run past everything because, again, this is a stealth mission. The Germans have no idea I'm here. They just... this is what they do normally. They just run around, randomly fire at stuff. Hang on, I'm not taking any damage. I somehow have managed to activate a cheat. Do you see that? The health bar does not budge, even though I am being pelted with all kinds of explosives and, uh, nonsense. Well, that's good. Let's see if we can get to the uh, the factory and blow it up. Or just reach a black screen and everything. No! There's a second zone. And of course, it's a sewer level. Or maybe, well, maybe not a sewer. It's like a train tunnel, I presume. And I can go up here. That's wonderful. And what the hell is that? Oh, God, this is so bad. Well, I somehow seem to have managed to activate a cheat because I pressed lots and lots of buttons in a vain attempt to collect the the ammo on the floor but apparently I found something even better I found a cheat wow and we have a swastika that's interesting not many games had these even in the late 80s so uh, yeah I, I don't suppose they ever thought we would get this far and get to enjoy this Nazi symbol that's probably why no one censored it. <laughs> and to be honest, the swastika isn't really a Nazi symbol from the beginning. It does have a connection, I think, in Egypt and South America uh, from ancient civilizations. So it's not the Nazis who invented it. It's just they kind of dragged it in the filth and did a pretty good job at that. But at least the game is a lot more fun now when I don't get hurt. And look, there's just grenades coming from the... Oh, the vents up there. Well, that's... that's super nice. Are these toilet doors to the uh, little Nazis' room? Seem to be gender neutral because there's only one symbol. Yeah, not sure what's in there. I don't want to find out. Let's just carry on. And the sound effects. Oh, they are so horrific. And again, I think there's something wrong with the game or the emulation. So I think they sound a little bit better. And check out this guy. He's just... He's a ghost. He's just phasing through the wall and lobbies grenades. That's just... wow. And here they're really changing it up. They put up three flags in a row. Just for some reason. 
Also, the electrical installations are awful. That cable up there, that, that doesn't look right. Oh, look, here's some crate from the, uh, what's that film called? The uh, Night of the Living Dead? Something? Looks like those skulls, kind of. Or maybe it's some sort of biological experiments to create a super soldier. And we finished level two, that's great. So I'm going to show you the entire game, aren't you excited about that? I bet you are. But let's just carry on running because, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's like a sightseeing tour. If anyone's wondering, I think it was the F1 or F2 key that activated this cheat. I think so. I'm not entirely sure because I did press a whole bunch of other buttons. Maybe it was a combination of, of buttons. If anyone would like to try this for themselves. I don't know why, though. But, yeah, good luck with that. And why, oh, why are there so many fire hydrants here? There's like at least three on each screen. What, what, whatever could be so fire hazardous that they need four of these things? Maybe it's the flags. Maybe they're made out of some highly flammable material. What's it called? Maybe nitrate? They used to make film out of nitrate, I think, and it would be highly flammable. So don't smoke and watch an old flick. Just some good, healthy advice. Yay, we finished stage three, and it's time for, um, yeah, this place. I have to say, this looks best so far. And I can even use the staircases. I've leveled up, but I can only go up, not down. Or maybe I need to press down? Ah, yes, of course. Of course. What What the hell? What? what was, did you see that guy on the floor? He was facing through the floor. Through some magic. Maybe this is some... Yeah, there he is. Wow. I wonder if anyone ever got this far back in the day. I'm, I'm doubting it. And the slowdown is just horrific. I mean, there's hardly any sprites on screen. Christ. At least there's less fire hydrants here. But more flags. So that doesn't make any sense. And I do believe this door has a skull and crossbones on it. Pirates only, maybe. Hmm. And I also have to say, I love the colour of my rifle. And to be honest, every weapon in this game. Lovely bright colour. Beautiful. Well done! Thank you. I'm not sure I agree, though. Are you kidding me? That's it. Four levels of misery, and you just congratulate me and say, well done. I don't even get to see the factory blow up. I'm pressing fire and see what happens. Say, do not start from the begin. Jesus crikey! This this game is it's gonna be the worst one I've played so far. Oh my god! Let's uh, I, yeah, I, let's just end this pain before my my mind is completely destroyed. Uh, I of course couldn't find any reviews of this one. Well, I kind of maybe found one in Spanish, but it was in such poor so such a poor scan that I'm not going to include it. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this in some peculiar manner. And uh, I'm not sure if I should say this, but thanks for watching. And uh, um, hope you enjoyed and all that stuff. And of course, as always, hope to catch you in the next video, which is going to be better regardless. Or be about a better game, no matter what game. And uh, yeah, that's it. Cheers.